came to the billing center. So today I'm going to discuss about billing process overview. What is the billing center? Because this is the demo class first session. So I am trying, I will try to make you understand what are the main functional function thing into the billing center. So, so first here you can see in the screen, uh, I have shared my PPT. So I will be sharing this PPT to you also after the session so that you can go through and if you have any question, you can ask me. So here you can see main three entities are there in policy and billing center, carrier, account and producer. So what is the carrier? Carrier means insurance company. So insurance company is called as a carrier or insurer. So whenever you are going to take any policy, so you need to take whether you are taking offline or online, some insurance company will be there who will provide the insurance that is called as a carrier or insurer because he is going to give you the insurance. So one term is carrier, second is account. So what is the account? Account means the customer or person who is taking the insurance, they are calling as an account. Means suppose that if you want to take policy for your car, so you, you call as an account. Because this is same concept like bank, whenever you are going to bank, at first they will create one account on behalf of you. And that account will have some uh, basic information like your address, your contact number, your no money so same thing here also so before create creating the policy they will create one account will be created and that account will be tagged with your name what is whatever your name will be there your address your contact number your nominee so all detail will that account will have that those uh, basic detail will be there then after creation of the account one policy will be created and that policy will be linked with that account Suppose that you are opening uh, two account, three account in one bank, same like here. Account will be one, but policy could be one, two, three, many policy. If you are taking two policy from same insurance company, account will be one because you are taking from same insurance company. If different insurance company, then it's a different thing. But if you are taking from same insurance company, so one policy of car, one policy for your home, and both the policy will be linked with the account. And that account will have your basic detail. Clear? Okay, then after third entity is called as a producer. So who is the producer? So generally producer is nothing but the broker concept here. Like sometimes uh, the customer or person doesn't take policy directly from the insurance company. He took the insurance from the any third party system or any broker. So that is called as a producer here. So it is not mandatory producer will be every time. If it is, if you are taking policy from any third party system, Either it could be any company or any person. So that called as a producer. Okay. So why I said like producer can be any person or any company. So person should be would be the any broker. Like insurance company itself uh, having some uh, hire some person who will work as a producer who will call you and you want to purchase the policy from their company or some third party will be there like. Um, Suppose that you want to take the policy of max life insurance is there or HDFC life insurance, but you are taking from policy bazaar. So that policy bazaar is act as a producer because you are taking through the policy bazaar portal, not through the direct insurance company. So these are called as a broker or producer or agent. Clear? Yes. Okay, don't hesitate. If you have any question in your mind, you can ask me. Okay. Now billing process. So, yeah, so billing process, what is the billing process? So as I discussed, billing process is nothing but whenever any policy is created, so this policy will be created from the policy center. And as soon as you create the policy, it will come to billing center because integration done internally, it will be done automatically. So only you need to create the policy from the policy center. Once the policy is created, here you can see in the image, policy is linked with the account. To create the policy, that means at first you need to create the account. And then after you will create one policy so that that policy will be linked with the account. So account creation and policy creation is the part of policy center, but Guideware has given the option to create the account and policy in billing center also. We can do that one. But normally uh, we need to create the account and policy through the policy center. And then after whatever the policy is created, the premium will be calculated automatically. There is some rule behind the into the policy center depending upon depending upon some parameter and factors premium will be calculated automatically 
but we no need to care about the premium. Whatever the premium will come, that premium will so into billing center, and those premium we need to make the payment. So that payment part is done through the billing center. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the life cycle. So this question, if you if you if you people are uh, preparing for interview, so this question is very common. Uh, billing life cycle. So most of the case they will ask what is the life cycle of billing center. So you need to explain this one. So I'm going to explain so that it will be very clear to you. So what is happening whenever you create the policy through policy center? So all the detail, as I told you, all the detail of the policy will come into billing center automatically. Like who is the policy holder? What is the address? What is the contact of account? What is the policy premium amount? Okay. So every detail will come into billing center and that will come as a billing instruction. So billing instruction is one object. Technically, whenever you are going to work as a developer, so it is one object, same like Java having some class and objects. So same here also. Billing instruction is one object here, which that object will have all the detail of the policy. Whatever we have created the policy, all the detail will be there. And this billing instruction will flow from policy to billing and all the data will come and it will display automatically into the guideware because guideware application already created uh, by the guideware company. So in billing center, there will be some tab. I will show you the screen will be there, tab will be there. So each and every screen having uh, different uh, functionalities. So I will explain you. So for now, you need to understand whenever you are creating any policy, all the detail of the policy as well as the account because creation of the policy means creation of the account also. So all the detail will come into billing center via billing instruction. So billing instruction act as a bridge between policy and billing. So billing instruction will have all the detail. Now, whatever the premium amount will be there, as you people are aware of the premium amount because premium is whenever you are taking any car loan or something, so premium will be there. You need to make the that down payment and premiums. So that premium in policy center, it is called as a premium amount, whatever the charges of that insurance, but in billing center, it is called as a charge. Okay. So generally in our day-to-day -day life, we are saying like premium amount or installment. So all these amount are called as a charge in billing center because charge is nothing but the money. So after billing instruction will come into the billing center, what would happen? There is a one screen, charge screen in billing center. When you click on charge screen, you can see the charge amount. Let's say you have created one create one policy has been created on behalf of you. Uh, you want to take one policy for your car. So the one policy will be created car and the premium amount comes like uh, 10,000 rupees or $2,000. Let's assume $2,000 premium amount comes. So that premium amount here into billing center, it shows as a charge. So when you click on charge screen, those 2,000 you can see into the charge screen of billing center. Okay. Now, this charge will be splitted as far as the your frequency of payment. So as you people are aware, like whenever you are taking any policy, they will ask you in which, how you want to make the payment, quarterly basis, annual basis, or monthly basis, or semi-annual basis. So if it is quarterly basis, that means that amount will be divided into four parts. If $200, let's assume $200 is there. And if you, if customer say, or policy holder say, like, yeah, I want to make the payment in quarterly basis. So what would happen? Four invoices will be created. 2000 divided by four, five, four. So 500, 500. So after every three months, you need to make the amount of $500. So this is split, is splitting of the charge is called as a invoice item or invoice. So splitting of the charges as per at the payment plan that is called as a payment plan in billing center. So what is the payment plan? Payment plan is nothing but the frequency of the uh, payment, whether it is half yearly or quarterly or monthly or yearly. So suppose that if you want to make the payment monthly basis, so total charges will be divided into 12 parts. So 2000 divided by 12, whatever amount will be there. So you can see 12 invoice amount will be there means 12 invoices will be created of $150, $150, $150. And every month you need to make the payment of that $150. So that is called as an invoice. Clear? 
Okay, so invoice is the whole and sole part of the billing center because once the invoice is created or generated, customer need to make the payment as per the invoice. Whatever the amount will be there, that amount customer need to make the payment. Customer means policy holder. So, and this will be created automatically. You no need to do anything. Just you need to create one policy into the policy center. Policy will flow to billing center. Charge will create automatically and invoices also will create automatically according to the payment plan. If you select quarterly payment plan, then $500, 500. If monthly, then 150 or 160. If annual, then only one invoice will generate of that $2,000. If half yearly, then $1,000, $1,000 of the six month gap. So once invoice is created or generated, when there is an invoice screen also in billing center, when you click on invoice screen, you can see all the invoices which has been created for that particular charge. So premium charge should be my premium amount should be matched with the charge amount. Premium is policy center and uh, charge means billing center, but, but both are same. Okay. And once the charge created, it is splitted or divided into the invoices. Once the invoice created, policy holder need to make the payment of those invoices on some specific date because invoice will have some date. I will explain. So each are different topics. Charges are different topics. Invoices are different topics. So there are many things to explain. So day by day, I will go through each and every topic. But for today, I will go, I will go overview of the billing center. So when the invoice created, you need to make the payment. Whatever the date will be there, once that date will come on same date, customer or policy holder need to make the payment. Payment can be done either credit card or debit card or manually also like cash or check or DD. These are the options. So process payment here it is written means process payment has been done. If the payment has been done, then after what would happen? If any broker is there or any producer is there, so that producer will take some commission. So commission will be paid via the billing center. These are the role of billing center only. Via the billing center, commission will be paid. And then after, after policy expiry date is policy will be closed. So this is the cycle of the billing center. Any question? No. All clear? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, in this cycle, you can see two topics are here, handle exception and handle delinquency. So these are again the extra things which comes into the billing center. So I will explain. So what is handle exception? So handle exception means like every system having some exception. So if same like here, suppose that you are uh, booking one ticket for your flight. So some sometime what happened, your money got deducted, but uh, from your bank or from your card, credit card or debit card, but flight note like they they will not book the flight because they did not receive the amount. So what would happen in that scenario? You call the customer care like, yeah, my money got deducted, but uh, the flight not uh, booked or some problem happened. So what they do, they will create one ticket for you. Okay. And they will show you, they will say like, yeah, don't worry. The amount will become, uh, will return to you in two or three days in your account or bank, whatever. So same here also. So that is called one type of exception. So since this is one, Billing center also is one application. So any exception, whenever any exception comes in that scenario, we need to create one trouble ticket, one ticket. That ticket is called as a trouble ticket. So handling, handling exception is handled through the ticket and that ticket is called as a trouble ticket here. Clear? So what are those exceptions? Like suppose that <clears throat> sometime what happened, Credit card, you have given your credit card to make the payment, but credit card expired or credit card number is not correct. So for those, what would happen? Need to create the uh, customer care team will create, generate some trouble ticket and that trouble ticket will assign to some person. So I will explain you trouble ticket is again the separate topic, how we can create the trouble ticket. What are the things in trouble ticket? I will explain. For, but for now, you need to know trouble ticket is nothing but to handle the exception, if any exception occurs or something uh, is happening into the billing center application, that is done through the travel ticket. Okay. 
Now this delinquency and collection, this, this is very important topic of the billing center and very complicated things. So what is delinquency and collection? So till now I have talked about the payment. Whenever invoice generated, then after you need to make the payment, then commission will be paid to the producer or broker and policy will be closed after the expiry date. Once the policy expired, these are the cycle. But let's assume customer or policy holder did not make the payment for that invoice. Every invoice will have some due date. Okay, that I will explain later. So if customer did not make the payment, what would happen? Your policy will be closed or canceled, correct? So that cancellation is done through delinquency, is handled through the delinquency. So that scenario is called as a delinquency. So what is the meaning of delinquency? Delinquency means if customer is not making the payment, although the due date has been closed or passed, that time policy will be canceled and that scenario is handled through the delinquency. This is one technical term. You need to know what is delinquency. Okay. And then after collection, once your policy is canceled, whatever the remaining amount, insurance company will take that amount. They are not going to give any discount. So suppose that $200 is the uh, due amount and you did, not make, you did not make the payment of $200. So once your policy is canceled, what insurance company, what they will do? They will send you some person or someone to collect the amount that will be from the collection team. So that is called as a collection. Uh, I have a question on a different thing, not this one, maybe uh -huh. um, about the, the course. Uh -huh. um, so is it, um, is it covers the, uh, I mean, the complete uh, business scenarios only or the technical, uh, how it is going to be? Both, both. You are, you are, you are, what you are expecting you, development or QA, like you are going for this training for the development role or QA role? Yeah. Let's say development. Yes. Yeah, I will be covering both functional and technical. But you, at first, we need to cover the functional part because these topics you need to understand. Then after you can go through the coding. This I explained uh, initially means when I started the session, but I think you were not there. Correct? You joined late. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Correct. So I will be covering both. Like I will give the application so that you can install the application. You can start the server. When the coding part will come, I will give you the scenario to for the coding also. Many scenarios are there. So I will, this session will handle both functional and coding development. Okay. So sorry, if he, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, Srini. Can we, can we install the, um, the standalone uh, yes. on the laptop or uh, do we need any? No, no, laptop, only laptop I will give you, but it should be window, not Mac. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I will give, I will share the application, that uh, file, you need to, and I will help you how to install it, it would be standalone, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, any other question? Yeah, Ajay, uh, what about uh, BI? Uh, BI also, uh, it will cover in this session, so yes. what about their certification, for example? No, BA again, BA and QA both functional. You, you okay. should be very clear in functional. Okay. Developer functional as well as the technical coding. But these are the functional means these, whatever I'm explaining, the delinquency collection, charge, invoice item, commissions. So these are called as a functional part. So each and every topic having many features, many attributes, which I need to explain. So BA, QA, functional should be very, uh, ex means should be very good the knowledge of the functional so that B and QA can work, okay? Uh, for example, what about certification developer and BA has same certification no, or no, is there no, any different? No different certification. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Certification also different for the QA. QA, BA same, developer different.